Kia ora the affiliate programming uh, semi-final preparation cycle. This training cycle for all of our affiliate uh, users will be March 3 to May 26. It is a 12-week training cycle. The competitors block, which we know runs one week ahead at uh, HQ, runs from March, sorry, February 26 through to May 26. So it's a 13 week training cycle. This is the 12 weeks so it can allow us to land on the same target. We'll have the same themes and principles all throughout. We can land on the same target as maximum peak uh, intention by that point in time if you are competing at the semifinals. Um, there is a note here and you'll see this in the uh, and the email sent out as well, and you might see it online if you're if, if you're a um, viewer out there. But it's how to navigate through the CrossFit Open. So um, obviously, as gym owners, we start the CrossFit Open on a Friday for our members that need to go or want to go through that. Uh, then there's obviously the Saturday. Sunday is usually a, a, an allocated time as well. Monday for repeats, or sometimes you have members that just cannot get to Monday. Uh, sorry, Friday through Sunday, and then. For those that are really trying to get through the open and do something well for quarterfinals, Tuesday morning repeats. The uh, Basically, the framework of how to navigate through the open is uh, if you're going Friday night lights, maybe Thursday is a bit of a recovery session um, or a, a full rest day. Uh, Friday night lights, if you're competing on the Saturday through the open instead of the Friday, um, Friday could have Thursday shifted to Friday for a recovery session. Once we've seen the workout, you might do something called a stinger. Let's say it's a 10 round workout. You'll take 20% of that workout, say two rounds, and just go through that at high heart rate, hot pace. Maybe it's 120% of your intended uh, pace for the actual 10 rounds itself, but it just gives you a little bit more um, understanding and awareness what's happening in the workout, how to navigate it, and uh, maybe pick up a couple of things that you didn't know previously, um, all the while not impacting doing the workout itself the following day, having done too many reps of the same muscle groups, and then uh, obviously just navigate your way from thereafter. If you have high competitive athletes in the uh, the CrossFit Open that are hoping to really do well across the season, then of course there are there there are themes in around the the open workout that you can choose that they can they can do as a supplementary work, uh, whether it's anaerobic efforts on uh, or lactate efforts on machines, whether that's strength work, uh, whether that's gymnastics work, whether that's mixed motor, whether it's extra conditioning, whether that's Olympic weightlifting. There are more than enough components there for you to choose from and I highly doubt that somebody is going to do the open workout and everything that's written in the program um, to be able to go alongside it. So it's more so just ideas of how you should uh, do and choose what's best for you. Um, because this is a pre-written program, we also obviously don't know what the the, the CrossFit Open, the quarterfinals are going to provide in terms of exercises. So we can't just give you um, certain workouts and then not have them be doubled up for the same work that they've done on the CrossFit Open as well. So it's more about um, giving you options but equipping you with the tools to be able to choose the specific options that are going to be most appropriate for you and your users. Um, as a class construct, if you're just running your classes as per, Cool. There's an option there that you just run this session as a, as, as a typical session for your class. Um, and then, there's, again, there's an option to just shut your classes all the way down, run the open workout itself. Doesn't matter whether people are competing or not. We like to just put it into Waterfy and they still just book into the system. Um, instead of an hour-long class, it might be 30-minute blocks. It might be 20-minute blocks, something like that. Um, and they just run it and do the warm-up as they are. And then moving into their, their allotted time section. So something like that could work really, really well, um, but that's gonna basically be uh, around that three, first three weeks of the CrossFit Open. The week following the CrossFit Open, um, I wanna say March 24th, ending March 24th is a Sunday, we are going to have a mock quarterfinals for all of the affiliates or people involved with the 6-4 Army uh, and 6-4 training systems. The mock quarterfinals, I think, it, it, so it's, it's uh, provided through competition corner i want to say it's less than ten dollars to sign up for and um the idea is that it gives you a sense of what's going to happen in the quarterfinals the themes the structures the workouts will all be designed 
around what we typically do see in the quarterfinals. Um, there'll be an option to do it as a team of four or an option to do it individually as well. They all come with uh, floor plans. They all come with uh, scorecards. And it's, again, it's, a, it's an absolute simulation of how best to navigate the quarterfinals. And uh, at the very least, it can help give you some tools about what works for you, what didn't work so well in terms of my fueling, my recovery, my preparation, my mindset, um, my support systems and structures, my videoing skills, all of those types of things. Just so that you can nail those one percenters heading into the quarterfinals, because as we know, the quarterfinals is the last step, the last playground you get into before you go into the semifinals, which is the big, um, the big bang for most people. So that's going to be the 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 the, uh, the week following the third week of the CrossFit Open. Um, for those that are fortunate enough to have teams go into quarterfinals and, 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 and individual quarterfinals as well, they're obviously uh, two weeks apart from each other. Um, the Open and the individual quarterfinals or age group quarterfinals are a month apart from each other. This whole training block is designed from the beginning of the Open till the end of the Oceania um, semifinals. So we can hit North America and Oceania in the same, in the same bite. Um, and then we will focus on some of the work that will, will, will be intended for some people's off-season or some people continuing, uh, continuing to go to the CrossFit Games. At this point in time, the focus and structures around this training cycle, um, strength work, uh, high skill gymnastics and capacity work, and then just building an engine um, that's going to be based around the movements that we typically see in uh, quarterfinals, semifinals, and as such, and just getting those nice little uh, combinations, I would say, more than anything, uh, down pat. We've had so much previous experience, uh, sorry, success uh, in getting the workouts either bang on the money as a repeat workout, uh, or very, very close to a workout that came out. We kind of just did something similar, um, and, and it's all about themes patterns and combinations and you train enough of those you generally you'll, you'll kind of get it on the money for when um when those big tests come around so again this is all hoping to prepare you uh for this competitive season if you have many users within your gym who aren't into competitive crossfit that's fine um they're still going to get better and increase their their capabilities for whatever strength and general conditioning that they're wanting to achieve uh, remember that we we have to have a north star um, in terms of programming, we have to have something that we're, we, we, we're trying to attain, that we're reaching out for, and if not, what are we doing every week? Are we just throwing paint at a wall and hoping we see a picture? Um, our North Star is the CrossFit season, and it's just a good chance to have some, um, have some tests along the way that aren't constructed by us to see how we're going in terms of our training. And I think if you hit it broad, broadly enough, you're going to develop a very fit and, and uh, strong, capable human, regardless of what sport that they're into. Uh, one of our goals, obviously, is to maximize our users' uh, one hour time of training in the gym. And so that's why we see a lot of good work crammed into this uh, these sessions. Um, of course, we have our level three, level two, level one options, and they should be absolutely doable. That level one should be achievable by any single person who walks into your gym. Um, so those are the focuses there. So again, let's just give you some information around the formatting of the 12-week the, the block here. As a micro view, taking a look at the day-to-day -day structures uh, of your training week on a Monday, uh, clean and jerk. So we have positional clean uh, and jerk uh, primers and then strength work. And then we follow that up with some deficit pulls off of risers. So we've worked the floor pulls plus low hangs, so constant time under tension. Now we're going to increase that four inches and really work that lower end of the first pull. And then we have a, a, a workout that's going to be somewhere between 8 to 12 minutes um, of a really traditional CrossFit construct on the, on, on the Monday. Um, Successory work on a Monday will focus on lower body predominantly. And that will round out your Monday. Uh, on a Tuesday... Power snatch cycling development, we will have uh, heavy reps, low, sorry, heavy weights, low reps. We will have moderate weights, moderate reps. We will have high reps, low weights. Uh, they all require different uh, methods of pulling through different rep schemes and different, uh, different loads. You might go no hip contact on the way down, hip contact on the way up. You might go muscle snatch on the way up, uh, hip contact on the way down. You might go muscle snatch, no hip contact. You might go no footwork contact both sides uh, there's a bunch of things you can do um, we're going to learn different myriads and patterns throughout the 12-week block on this 
and help to equip you with the tools of which method, which pathway, which pattern should I use for what type of workout that I'm doing as well as just developing that general cadence and pattern within itself. Uh, the Metcon will be a mixed modal Metcon. You'll be looking at weightlifting, gymnastics, uh, and some sort of monostructural or double up on one or two of those movements. The time frames here will be 10 minutes to 15 minutes. Uh, again, level three, level two, level one. Successory work on a Tuesday, if we can afford the time for our members, strict presses. The strict press can either be out of the rack or off the floor if you're strong enough to power clean it nice and easy. And on a Tuesday, the focus for the strict press itself is to begin with a five rep max and increase the capacity levels on that five rep max. Wednesday skill work within your classes. So the skill work on a Wednesday, you're gonna have multiple options. We've given you documents here for drill lists. So basically you can just pull up those drill lists, put them on your screens or print them off, put them on your boards or whatever. And then uh, have your members choose from those drill lists if they're down at that type of level trying to get their first uh, rep of a certain movement. Otherwise, you have an option to choose a skill based on your perceived weakness. Think about pistol squats, handstand push-up, handstand walking, uh, single under crossover skips, double under crossover skips, ring muscle-ups, kipping pull-ups, butterfly pull-ups, all of those little tricky things that don't get taught enough. You have options here to go through those. Mixed modal intervals will follow thereafter where you'll do a bunch of work, uh, typical to some of the, you know, a, a lot of the training that we do do, uh, or do perform rather. So it will be over 20 minutes of uh, time. It'll be up to 30 minutes on different days. And you'll have mixed motor work conditioning on terms of bikes, running, uh, rowing, skiing, skipping, those are the likes, uh, burpees, front squats, muscle ups, back squats, whatever. Mixed motor work, uh, a lot of interval work in there. On a Thursday, we are taking the competitors' Wednesday back squats, the linear progression, so undulating percentages here, threes, twos, ones, going up in weight. You're taking them to a Thursday class session. If you miss out that on a Tuesday, uh, sorry, Wednesday as a competitor, go to the class on a Thursday. You'll get that in. If you're just general gym training, perfect. We get another good squat block in on a Thursday, followed with the Metcon. The Metcon is actually taken out of the Tuesday optional work, slotted in there on a Thursday. If you're looking at that as an option on a Tuesday, that's something I want to do. I don't have the time availability. I don't have the capacity work to do that right now. Um, go to the Thursday class, get it in. Um, it'll be something focused around a press, a midline component, a pulling component, um, or potentially a squat component. So that's what you'll be seeing on the um, the Metcon Thursday. Moving forward, we have two more days, Friday, Saturday. We've talked about the uh, the cost for open being in the first three weeks, and obviously there are weeks thereafter that are going to be dedicated towards the competitive season as well, up to six weeks in total for your gym over a 12-week block. Hence why this can be a little bit finicky or fidgety <coughs> just to get through in, in, in this time frame. Um, Friday will mimic the Tuesday power snatch cycling, but the power clean and push stroke cycling. So that's what you're gonna see on a Friday. And then you'll finish that with uh, anaerobic efforts on a machine. The, 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 the anaerobic efforts is to increase our lactate threshold, sprint effort, recovery work, 20 minutes of time, something around there. Very basic work, but it's the foundational processes that will get you through, that will build those, uh, build those patterns or, or stimulus or energy pathways that we're looking for, but also, be able to be recoverable. It's not something that's gonna be causing a whole lot of damage, so if you are doing those competitions, open and like, uh, this is not something that's gonna leave your muscles sore for days thereafter and not be able to actually perform well in training. So nice little top up of work there and we just put that into the class. Successory work here, I think it's a really cool nuance or deadlift, we've done them in the past. Library deadlifts, focusing on that tension throughout the whole movement, obviously silent barbell on the floor. There's no impact, no sound, and this helps give you better awareness and control around the movement itself. Final day of our training week before Sunday's a rest day, uh, your Saturday training day, um, Metcon, grunt, grind, all those you know muddy terms just to get your way through a, just a really great your teeth workout. Uh, for example, uh, an example workout here would be 800 meter farmer's carry, two, two kettlebells, two mile run, 800 meter farmers carry nothing glorious nothing fancy um, you know just simple strap your boots up and go for it up to 40 minute in time cap 
So we warm up, prepare really well. This is our solo focus in the in the session. Um, there might be a 10 minute discrepancy from person first, finishing first and fin person finishing last. You'll still be well within the 60 minute time domain of a class structure. And you'll have optional strength work should your member choose to, should your gym have the availability for it, um, and you have the want and need for them to want to do it. You'll have optional strength of either front squat, bench press, or both. So it's just strict strength building and um, that will come after the priority being the grind the grind, grit your teeth work. That, in a nutshell, is our 12-week upcoming training cycle beginning March 3rd, going right through to May 26th. Open season, so open right through to the, uh, the semi-finals. Hopefully, this has been digestible. Hopefully, you've got a clear plan of how you're going to navigate this competition season. It can be an extremely fun time if you use it well for your gym, um, getting everyone involved, getting them excited, helping them see the pathway, helping them see the plan, and uh, we can't wait to see you there getting some gains. Cheers. Thank <laughs> you.